welcome to the session on profit and loss. This is brought to you by Handaga Fanda. For profit and loss, you need to understand the idea of a few. One is the cost. The price at which you buy a product is known as the cost price. The price at which you sell a product is known as the selling price. The price price which is marked on the goods, uh, something like the MRP tag where it is printed on the goods is known as the mark price. If the cost price is less than the selling price, that means you are making a profit. If the cost price is more than the selling price, then you are making a loss. The profit percentage as well as the loss percentage both of them are always, always calculated on the cost price. Other than the profit and loss percentage, there is also the idea of markup percentage. Suppose the cost price of a particular good is 100 rupees and you put a tag on it of 130 rupees. Then 130 rupees becomes the mark price of the object. The difference of the two, which is 30 rupees, is the markup percentage. Sometimes a discount is offered. The discount normally is offered on the mark price. It is. It can be expressed as an absolute value. It can also be expressed as a percentage. If it is expressed as a percentage, it is expressed as a percentage of the mark price. Suppose there is a particular product um, on which you are planning to make a profit of 20% and you are planning to give a discount of 20%, then what should be the markup percentage? Let's see. Let us assume that the cost price is 100 rupees. Now you want to make a profit of 20 rupees on it. That means your selling price should be 120 rupees. You also want to offer a discount of 20%. So you are offering a discount of 20% on the mark price which is let's say X. 20% is being reduced which means one fifth is being reduced or it is 4 by 5 of the original is given to me as 120 which means X or my mark price is 150 rupees. The question will be how much is the markup percentage? As I said earlier, markup percentage is always calculated on the cost price. Cost price is 100, mark price is 150. The markup percentage is 50% in this case. Let us talk a little about discounts. Discount can be expressed as an absolute value. It can also be expressed as a percentage of the mark price. Discounts can be given in various formats. One is the flat 20% discount or a 30% discount or a 40% discount. They can also be a successive discount. For example, Shop 1 offers you two discounts of 40% and then 50%. Shop 2 offers you two discounts of 50% and 40%. Do you realize which shop is giving you a better deal? Think about it. You may pause the video if you like. Actually, both the shops are giving us the same deal. Let's see how. Suppose my good costs 100 rupees, 40% discount will take it to 60 rupees, another 50% discount will take it to 30 rupees. Effective discount in this case is 70%. I look at shop 2, 50% discount will take you to 50 rupees, another 40% discount on 50, that is a discount of 20 rupees on 50, will take you to again 30 rupees, total discount offered in this case is also 70%. As you must see here, the order of successive discounts does not matter, it's the overall discount which does. If there are two discounts offered which are a percent and then a further discount of B percent then the net discount is given by A plus B plus AB 
if there are two discounts which are offered of A% percent and B%, percent, then the net discount is given by A plus B minus AB by 100. Let's see if it fits in the formula. 50 plus 40 is 90 minus 15 to 40 is 2000 by 100 is 20. So 50 plus 40 minus 20 which will give me 70%. As you can see here, the order does not matter because A plus B is the same as B plus A. A into B is the same as B into A. Another popular form of discount which was started by Akai if I can remember right is buy one get one free, buy two get three free and all that. What sort of discount is offered if I have buy X goods and get Y goods free with it? Think about it for a while. Is Y by X plus Y into Do you realize why? It is because what is the number of goods that I am getting for free? That is Y. So that is the discount which is offered. What is the mark price? The total number of goods that I am taking home with me? That is X plus Y. So which becomes X plus Y here. Effectively, my discount is Y by X plus Y into 100. Please stay with us to discuss a few special cases. Thank you.